Hi there, welcome to Exam AZ 900, Microsoft Azure Fundamental Study Guide. This is episode 49, Compliance Manager. My name is Tim Warner. Our Microsoft Azure Fundamentals skill today starts with the functional group describe security, privacy, compliance, and trust, and then within describe privacy, compliance, and data protection standards in Azure, we finally have our atomic skill, and that is describe compliance manager. Go to timw.info forward slash az900sg for all of the video links. Okay, well, if you were with me in the previous episode where we looked at the Service Trust Portal, I mentioned that the two main things that are on display here are the Compliance Manager tool and also trust documents, specifically audit reports, data protection attestations that your compliance people can look at to verify that Microsoft is itself in compliance with their services that you plan to consume. The focus of this lesson is Compliance Manager, so let's open the Compliance Manager menu at the Service Trust Portal, and here we can see two different versions of the tool. Now, I haven't actually explained what the heck Compliance Manager is, so why don't I do that first? Compliance Manager is an interactive tool that you would share with the compliance officers in your organization, and it makes it easier for them to generate reports based on whatever compliance regime you're qualifying against to show what you've done in Azure that needs remediation versus has already been remediated, and you can export those results to various formats. Now, the compliance manager that you see here at the end of the menu, if we click into it, it tells us that it and actually the classic one are both free but protected resources, so you need to sign in with an account in your Azure Active Directory tenant. You should know that as a general rule, Microsoft Worldwide Learning does not put public preview features on their certification exams, so we're not going to look at the Compliance Manager preview here. Instead, we're going to go to the classic experience because this is the one that's generally available at this time. Let me close out of the tour, and we can come down and we can see here that there are a number of assessments that you can do and then it'll also track any action items that have been assigned to you. The idea is that you, as an Azure subject matter expert, may be relied upon by your compliance officers because, by definition, you would have more experience in Azure than they would. But let me give you a, a more concrete example. Let's say here that you need to qualify your Azure subscription resources against the GDPR regulations. You can see that I've got that assessment currently in progress, and you can see that there's customer managed actions and Microsoft managed actions. Microsoft has just about all of them already finished. I'm surprised that it's not 48 of 48. Almost always when I've been in here, Microsoft has their bases fully covered. But if we click into this GDPR assessment, you can see Azure InScope Cloud Services, which Azure products are in scope for this regulation, a whole bunch of Microsoft managed controls, and we can expand those and drill into them, and we can read what the control is, associated articles, and then we can see in this case that Microsoft has implemented whatever the control is requiring, and who tested it, and whether the test result was a pass or not. So that's Microsoft side. The important piece for your compliance department are these customer managed controls. And you notice here, let's just open up the first one in the list. You can assign any of these controls to a particular person. Maybe the lead developer in your organization is responsible for whatever this particular control is talking about. You can assign him or her this task. They can come into compliance manager, work with you, and then you can update the status you can specify the date and the test date and then the test result, see? This is a really nice offering that Microsoft gives you basically as a convenience for being able to more easily track your compliance status. And then, as I mentioned, you've got export options. We can export this entire GDPR assessment to an Excel file, and I'll open that up here on my workstation. I have Excel 2019 installed. There it is, and you can see that the workbook contains two tabs, one sheet for Microsoft Managed Controls and the other one for Customer Managed Controls. Hope you'd agree with me that Compliance Manager is a really nice value add to any business that needs to certify its Azure implementation against some kind of compliance requirements. Learning resources, number one, if you want to click directly into the classic Compliance Manager experience, go to timw.info forward slash cpm1. For the preview version, go to timw.info forward slash cpm2. 
Our next episode will focus on Azure Government Cloud. I'm looking forward to presenting that to you. In the meantime, please consider following me on Twitter at Tech Trainer Tim. You can view my Pluralsight content at timw.info forward slash ps. My website is techtrainertim.com. Thanks very much for your attention. I appreciate you. I'll see you in that next episode.